Okay. Now, my thoughts on Godzilla Reads Again. <coughs> Was it a terrible movie? No. I prefer the Japanese version than I do the American version. Which, I'll get to that one later. Now, Godzilla Reads Again takes came out a year after Gojira did. And it was successful. Very little success. Which led Godzilla to be in hibernation until his battle with King Kong in 1962. Well, the the American version of King Kong vs. Godzilla came out in 63, but I'll get to that later. Anyways, what are the things I liked about this movie and what I hated about this movie? The thing I hated about this movie was it wasn't, it just didn't feel right. Oh wait, that's the American version. Silly me. This movie was actually pretty good. It was basically Godzilla battling Gigantus, well, I'm sorry, battling Angaras. I'll get to the mistitling crap in my next video of talking about the American version. Anyways, Godzilla Raids Again will most likely be better in Japan. It was one of those movies that if you give it to the wrong person in America, they're going to make a terrible English dub of the film. And which they did. And... That's one of the reasons why I think it failed in America. Because, you know, they mistitled it too damn much in America. Well, rumor always had it that there was actually a British-English dub version of the film. However, it's not known if it exists or not. But in that English dub version of the British version, is it actually Godzilla is actually called Godzilla. Which is pretty kick-ass, you know. And... Other things I like about this movie is... It's the debut of Angaris. Angaris looked tight. And they both fight each other in the mountain. I mean, they started fighting each other. You know, Godzilla's supposed to be dead. And, you know, how is he alive? And... Why is he fighting a giant armadillo, you know? And one thing that I have to say that I don't like about this movie is it's kind of slow. You know, it didn't have the first passion as the first movie. Probably because this film was not directed by a sure Honda. And if you look on my screen here it has the guy from the first Godzilla movie in it however he's only in the film for a little bit he doesn't have like a lot of screen time he only has a little bit of screen time however this is the first Godzilla film for Hayoshi Koizumi the man in the middle between the one guy and the man between and, and the woman down there. I forgot their names and I'm sorry about that. <laughs> but the guy up there, the one that played his um, friend, the one that Godzilla killed because Godzilla blew his plane up, he's the father of the guy from Godzilla vs. Megalon. The one that built um, Jet Jaguar. Yeah, that's his father. His father's in this movie. And he's the chubby guy. He was also in Seven Samurais. Now, I'll get on to that detail in Godzilla vs. Megalon. Um, 
other things including other stuff. Anyways, let's just get back. Godzilla Raids Again is a good film. I like it, but it's just, it's a little too slow for me. I mean, if it was directed by Ishura Honda, if it was directed by him, it probably would have been a little bit better. And Garrus probably would have had more of a backstory on why why was he resurrected from the explosion, you know? And that was the one key element that was missing from this movie. Well, except for the American version, like I said, I'll get to that later. But this film called Godzilla Raids Again, it I have mixed reactions on it. Let me know what you think of Godzilla Reads Again. I know the English dub version of the film is terrible. But to me, I like it. I'm okay with it. I mean, it could have been better. And my time is almost up here. So I want to say, like and subscribe.